Hey guys, this is Nalini here. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful flower coaster. So I'm actually making a set of one doily and two coasters. So the doily will also follow the same pattern. We just have to increase the rounds. So do give this tutorial a watch. And if you like this, please make this and you can send it to me on my Instagram and I, I will definitely give you a shout out and showcase your work. So do subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment and do comment. I love to read comments so you can let me know if the, this tutorial was helpful for you or not. So without any further delay, let's get started. So the materials which we are going to use is a cream color yarn and uh, I'm going to make flowers with red ones, so red yarn. Uh, this is cotton. Um, the hook size mentioned is 3 mm and for this the hook size mentioned is 4.5. So this one is Aran yarn uh, number 4 and this is cotton number 1. And we're going to use some green yarn for the leaves or the vines. And for the coaster, I'm going to use 4.5 mm hook. And for the flowers, I'm going to use a 3 mm hook. And then we are going to use a darning needle or a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors or a thread cutter. So let's start making our coaster. So I'm going to use a 4.5 millimeter hook to make the coaster and we're going to start with a magic circle so this is how i make my magic circle so first we're going to hold a yarn like this and then with the help of your hook just twist your yarn like this to form a loop pinch it here bring the loop up yarn over and pull through so this is how i make my magic circle so magic circle is nothing but a loose slip knot and now I'm going to chain two. So one and two. Now we're going to make uh, 13 double crochets. So yarn over and go in the circle covering both the loops, the tail and the loop. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this is our first double crochet. Chain 2 is not counted as a stitch. Now again yarn over. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through 2. Yarn over. Pull through 2. Uh, this is our second double crochet. One more time. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through 2. Yarn over. Pull through 2. So in this manner, we are going to finish making our 13 double crochets. So go ahead and make your double crochets and I'll meet you once I finish making all the 13 double crochets. So I'm done making my 13 double crochets and now I'm going to pull the loop to close the circle. So you can just gently hold your work here and just pull the loop and gradually tighten your circle so just you can just give it a good pull and the circle is closed completely now you can just close your round by making a slip stitch on top of the chain two so one two so here so your first stitch is above top of the chain two or before your first double crochet so this is the stitch so just insert your hook pull up a loop and pull it through the working loop and our magic circle is done and our first round is complete so now let's go for the second round so to go to the second round we are going to chain two one and two and now in this round we are just going to make two double crochets in each stitch all the way around so i'll just show you two Two times so we are going to yarn over and we are going to start with this stitch this is our first stitch in which we made the uh, slip stitch so it's at the very root of your chain two this one 
So, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So, this is our first double crochet. So, same way again, we're going to make one double crochet. And now, our two double crochets are done. Now, same thing goes for each round. You have to make two double crochets in each stitch. So I'll just finish this and join back. So here we have finished making our round two and now we can just make a slip stitch on top of the first stitch. As I told you, it will be on top of your chain two or before your first double crochet. So this is the stitch. So make your slip stitch. And now we're going for our third round so that will be chain two now we can make uh, one double crochet in your first stitch which is at the root this is your first stitch and two double crochets in your next stitch then again one double crochet in your next stitch and two double crochet in your next stitch so this is the pattern which will be following all the way around so make your first double crochet in your very first stitch then two double crochets in your next one then again one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in your next one so let's just finish this round like this and i'll meet you when i reach to the end so here we've come to the end of this round and uh, I have ended my round with the two double crochet and this is not your stitch. This is the, for the slip stitch from which uh, we have made the chain two. Uh, we made a slip stitch in the first stitch remember and this was a chain two. So this is not a stitch so do not crochet in this and now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch on top of chain two or before your first double crochet this one so we are ready for the next round so to go to the next round chain two and in this one what we had done was we had made one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochet in one stitch so in this round what we are going to do is one double crochet in one stitch one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochet in the next stitch so here it was one two one two so here it will be one one two one one two so let's work a few stitches together so the first double crochet will be going into the same stitch from, from where we have made us chain two that was the first stitch so make your first double crochet then go to the next stitch and make your one double crochet and then go to your next stitch and make your two double crochets again go to your next stitch make one double crochet then next stitch one double crochet then next stitch two double crochets one and So this is the pattern which will be falling all the way around. So go ahead and finish uh, this round. I'll meet you when I come to the last one. And I've come to the end of this round and uh, I have ended with two double crochets in one stitch. That is the last one. And now we are going to make a slip stitch on top of two to finish this round. This is the first stitch as I've told you in the previous rounds and this size should be enough for our coaster so i'm going to make a slip uh, chain one and just cut the yarn and give it a good pull and now we're going to make the vines or the leaves and here's my green yarn so we can join it at any stitch but i still prefer to join it in the very first stitch where we made the slip stitch so insert your hook grab the yarn 
pull up a loop and make one chain and now we are going to chain four one two three and four so two chains will represent the double crochet or they will match the height for the double crochet and these two chains are the uh, for the v-stitch so we are going to make one double crochet in the same stitch like this so this is our first v-stitch and now we are going to make the next v-stitch in the third stitch so we are going to skip two stitches and into the third one we are going to make our v-stitch so what i'll do is i'll just drop the green yarn and i'll just hold the cream one because this one i'll be using to weave in in the green stitch because if we uh, work along with the green yarn the yarn will be seen so we'll just leave that and just crochet along the cream one if you wish you can uh, weave this one also in the work you can leave both the tails so yarn over and skip your two stitches and into the third one make a double crochet one and then chain two and then make a double crochet in the same stitch like this then again we are going to skip two stitches one and two and into the third one make a v-stitch double crochet chain two double crochet all in one stitch again we can sorry we can make the v-stitch into the third stitch skip the first two into the third one we're going to make a v-stitch double crochet chain two double crochet so this is the way we are going to make our wine or our leaves all the way around so i'll join you when i reach to the last stitch and we've come to the end of this round and uh, if you end up with just one stitch uh, that's okay it's not gonna make much of a difference now we can just make a slip stitch into the first v stitch which we made and just chain one and we can just cut the yarn and now we are going to start making our flowers so before making the flowers if you want you can just weave the tail ends in this but i'm going to do it in the end so we're going to join our red yarn now so you can insert your hook into any of the v stitches so just insert your hook grab your yarn like this and bring it up and then make a chain and you can just drop the tail and now chain two and then we can just push it towards the side we are going to make four double crochets so including this it will be a total of five so we are going to make a four double crochet so one two three and four so after making a four double crochet we are going to make a popcorn stitch so just drop your working loop and just join on the third stitch which is here the third chain sorry so you can just insert your hook into that or you can just insert it the space also doesn't matter either you can insert it into the chain or here and just insert your hook into the working loop and just bring it like this pass it through the chain three or that space and now we have made a popcorn stitch 
so now what we are going to do is we are going to chain 3 1 2 and 3 and now we are going to make a slip stitch into the circle if you notice when we joined it uh, the fourth or the fifth uh, stitch with the first one we have made a circle over here if you see it clearly this is the circle so in this we are going to make uh, three chains and single crochet three chain single crochet three chain single crochet so i've made my three chains over here so i'm just going to insert it into that circle and make a single crochet then again one two and three and then you can make a single crochet again and then again one two and three and make a single crochet so here our first flower is ready so now one two three i've made three chains and now i'm going to join it uh, into the space between two v stitches so make your single crochet into that v space the space between two v's like this now again we are going to chain three one two and three and we'll be making the next flower into the next v stitch so make five double crochets one two three four and five so after making your five double crochets again drop the loop and insert your hook into the first double crochet which you made so this is the stitch before your first double crochet here and then insert your hook into the loop and just bring it out like this then chain three and then this is the circle so into that circle just insert your hook and make a slip stitch sorry a single crochet again one two th three then go to the same space that circle make your second single crochet one two three and then again go to the same space and make your single crochet and our second flower is ready now again one two three chain three and now we are going to make a single crochet into this space between the two v stitches and chain three and now we are going to make the flower again so five double crochets one two three four and five then drop your loop and insert your hook into the very first double crochet then insert your hook into the loop and bring it out like this then chain three and into that say center make a single crochet chain three go into the center make a single crochet two three chain three go into the center and make a single crochet and now you're going to chain three and make a single crochet between the v stitches and chain three and then again you're going to make a flower so just keep making flowers like this you have to make a flower uh, in one v stitch so what we are going to do is chain five uh, sorry five double crochets then drop your loop insert your hook into the first uh, double crochet and insert your hook into the loop and just pull it out 
and then make a chain 3 single crochet chain 3 single crochet chain 3 single crochet then you have to chain 3 and make a single crochet between the V stitches again chain 3 and make the next flower so I'll just complete this entire thing and join back and I've come to the end of this round and I've made the last flower and I have chain 3 so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a single crochet as usual and then chain 3 and I'm going to make a slip stitch here below the first petal you can just make a slip stitch chain 1 and cut your work and now I'll just weave in the ends So our tapestry needle is ready so you can just pass your yarn through some stitches and then I'm just gonna insert it into the behind the petals like this and then leave one loop and then again insert your hook and pass it through the stitches from behind and then you can just cut it so I'll just play fast forward and just finish joining my uh, weaving in my yarn tails So here a beautiful flower coaster is ready just look how beautiful it is if you want to make the flowers little bigger then you can go for a bigger size yarn uh, with a bigger size hook but I think this looks perfect in this so what I'm planning to do is I'm going to make two coasters and a doily so if you want to make a bigger doily what you have to do is just keep increasing the row like here how i did here the second round was full two double crochets in each stitch then the next one was one double crochet two double crochet one two one two then the next one was one one two one one two so if you want to make another row add one more double crochet so it will be one 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 two then again one 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 two so just keep increasing one double crochet and you can make how much big you uh, doily you want and then make the flowers so I'll just cut this so here it is guys my beautiful flower coaster is ready and you can make a pot for this also uh, the tutorial is there in my previous videos or for flower coaster with a pot set also so you can make a pot for that and the way you can present this is like when you're not using it you can just fold it from the opposite the wrong side keep the wrong side up fold it like this and you can either just fold it or you can just roll it and then place it into the pots like three four coasters and it'll become a good centerpiece or decorative piece for your table too so i hope you enjoyed my tutorial do comment in the comment section whether this was helpful or not i keep waiting for your comments so let me know whether this was helpful for you or not and what you would like to see in my other videos and there might be many background noises which you might be hearing since i live in an apartment 
so there are many noises from other homes so do excuse me for that so do subscribe to my channel like share and comment okay until the next video bye bye